What is going on, Yankee fans? It is New York Sports Hub here, and I am back at it with another New York Yankees post-game recap and break out the brooms, baby. Yankees win 5-4 over the Chicago White Sox in walk-off fashion and have now won six straight ball games, improved to nine games over 500. Uh, to what, 28-19 on the year. And Jamison Tyon got the ball in this one, and after a rough outing against the Rangers, he's had a plenty of rough outings this year. He's been he's been really struggling, you know, as of late. And Jamison Tyon went up against the White Sox today, and he pitched really well. Five innings, no runs, two hits, two walks, four strikeouts. I thought that was his best start of the season. I thought he was fantastic. You know what I mean? He looked a lot more confident out there on the mound. He, you know, he threw a lot more strikes. He was putting away hitters with two strikes, which is very important for him. And he got a lot of ground balls. No complaints with how Tyon pitched today. I thought he was fantastic. Again, I thought that was his, the best he's looked all year. You know, like I'd say, very good White Sox team. He showed up and pitched really, really well. I wasn't very confident going into this game, going up against Dallas Keuchel, who's had the Yankees number in the past, and Jamison Tyon, who has been really bad. But Tyon was really good. And the Yankees found a way to get to Dallas Keuchel, which I'll talk about a little bit later after I go through the pitching. Right after Jamison Tyon left the game after five innings, Wandy Peralta came in in relief and struggled. An inning and a third, I'm sorry, one, a third of an inning, uh, two runs, one hit, one, and one walk. So Wandy Peralta, I don't think he's very good. You know, he he, he pitched pretty well to start uh, the season, you know, or, or to start his tenure as a Yankee, but he's been struggling as of late. Uh, he had a rough outing. Chad Green came in, pitched well. An inning and two-thirds, uh, one run. Did, you know, again, gave up a run, but gave us length. Uh, an inning and two-thirds, one run, one hit, and one strikeout. The home run that Chad Green gave up could have been caught, uh, could have been robbed by Clint Frazier, but the stupid fan had to get in the way, and it was ruled a home run. So Chad Green still pitched pretty well, though. He he still has, what, a, a 2.25 ERA on the year. He's, he's been really good for this team. Uh, Jonathan Lewiska came in to uh, as the setup man for the Yankees in the top of the eighth. He pitched a clean inning of work. Uh, his ERA is now, that, now down to 2.49 on the year. Jonathan Loisega has been great for this team all year. Aroldis Chapman, it was bound to happen at some point. Gave up a run in, in an inning of work. Blew the save. And his ERA is still at .47. So he's he's still been nasty for the Yankees this year. He's been, he's been an automatic save. But again, he was bound to give up a run at some point. I'm not going to get mad at Chapman for doing that. He made a bad pitch to Vaughn. He tied up the game. Whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, at the end of the day, he still kept... The game tied. You know, we, we went into the bottom of the ninth, tied up at four. It could have been a lot worse. After he walked Grandal, he found a way to get Garcia to ground out, and then he struck out Madrigal to end the inning. So a good job by Chapman to get out of the mess, to work out of the mess, but gave up a run. His first all year, it's okay. You know, he'll bounce back his next outing. But overall, I thought the pitching was really good. Yet again, the bullpen was a little bit iffy, but James and Tyone, this was a very important start for him, and he pitched really, really well in this game. Like I said, best I've seen him all year. He was fantastic. Now, let's get into the offense. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Yankees draw first blood. Glaber Torres singles through the left side. Two runs come in to score, and the Yankees are up 2-0. They score early runs off Dallas Keuchel. That's huge. You know what I mean? Big uh, big at bat by Glaber Torres. Uh, he's, he's been on fire as of late. Glaber Torres has been amazing this series. He's been fantastic as of late. A two-run single for Glaber Torres. The Yankees lead 2-0. Then we go to the bottom of the fifth. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Gio Urshela rounds into a double play, but... A run comes in a score. Yankees are up three nothing. Again, the boring way to—it's a boring way to score a run, but still, you, you know, you drove in a run. You know what I mean? We go to the top of the sixth. Abreu hits the home run. Now it's a three-two game. Yankees get him back. Bottom six. Brett Gardner hits a ground ball. It looked like it was going to be a double play, but then Tim Anderson overthrows Jose Abreu, and then um, who scored? It was Sanchez. He came around to score on the error by Anderson, and that made it a four-two Yankee lead. Uh, uh, after six, the Yankees were up four-two. We go top seven. Yasmani Grandal, homers, makes it 4-3. to three. Then we go to the top of the ninth. Vaughn ties it up. So it's a 4-4 game going into the bottom of the ninth. Clint Frazier, who had three hits today, huge game for Clint, singled up the middle. Great to see from Frazier, leadoff man on base. Then Gardner strikes out, but Clint Frazier advances to second. Uh, he steals a base. Clint Frazier goes to second. Next up, um, DJ LeMahieu. They intentionally walk him, first and second, with one out. Then Tyler Wade. Little dribbler down the right field line, but it's a fair ball, and nobody was there. Tyler Wade, we all know he's really fast, so he beat it out. Bases loaded with one out for, could could be the AL MVP Aaron Judge. Bases loaded, one out, gets a 3-1 fastball, and you know Liam Hendricks is scared to face him because Aaron Judge has a great history against Hendricks. We all know he hit a two-run bomb into the left field seats 
against when he was with the A's in the wildcard game three years ago. So Aaron Judge has Liam Hendricks' number, and, you, and Liam Hendricks said, you know what, I'm not even going to pitch this guy. He walks Judge, and the Yankees win 5-4, to four, the first big league walk-off for Aaron Judge. I'm surprised it's, took, it's, take, it's taken this long for Aaron Judge to get his first career walk-off, but... He walks, a run comes in to score, and the Yankees win 5-4 to four over the White Sox. They sweep a team that had the best record in the American League coming in. Now the Yankees have the best record in the American League. I think they're tied with the Red Sox for the best record. Uh, I think they're also tied with the Rays because they're, they're a half game behind both those teams. But the Yankees are playing phenomenal baseball. I think they're like, what, like 23-9 and nine in their past 32 games? They've been phenomenal. You know what I mean? They have been fantastic as of late. They just swept one of the best teams in baseball coming in. This team is, when we get Luis Severino and Zach Britton back, this team is going to be a juggernaut because this team is beating up on the good teams. They're not just beating up on the bad teams. You can even argue they're playing better against good teams. That is a great thing to see because we all know the Yankees struggled against good teams last year. That team finished with a 33-27 and record. They beat up on the Red Sox and Orioles. This year, they have been amazing against good teams, you know, I don't know what the record is, but still, they've been great. So, six wins in a row. Chapman got the win in this one. Bummer got the loss. That's a bummer. No pun, that was corny, but <laughs> bummer got the loss in this one. Um, we're 28-19, guys, on the season. The Yankees are killing it right now. They are playing great baseball. They are clicking on all cylinders, and you just love to see that because the Yankees were 5-10 and to start the year. Every Yankee fan, including myself, I thought they were going to miss out on the World Series again. This team is looking like a team that could actually win the World Series. You know what I mean? The starting pitching is legit. 35 straight scoreless innings for Yankees pitching. That is impeccable. And Corey Kluber, who just threw a no hit, just threw a no hitter, goes on Tuesday against the Blue Jays. And then Domingo Herman, who has been nasty, goes on Wednesday. It's only going to get better from here. I get the Blue Jays, they can hit, but still. This I mean the White Sox can hit too and the Yankees completely shut them down. The starting pitching has been fantastic as of late. And, again, I've said this in every video. The starting pitching was the biggest question mark heading into the season. Well, that question has been answered. The starting pitching has been really good. You know what I mean? It's been fantastic. I I, I got to give the starting pitching praise because how, how can you not? It's been amazing. You know, so Yankees have a day off tomorrow. And then on Tuesday, they start a series with the Toronto Blue Jays, three-game set at Yankee Stadium. Uh, the Blue Jays have been really struggling out of the plate. They're only a game over 500. This series should be a cakewalk for the Yankees. We we should win this series, you know what I mean? This The Blue Jays aren't a very good team. We should beat them, you know what I mean? Uh, even though we have struggled against them this year, but still. I mean, that was a different team back then. This is a team that nobody wants to see in October because... The Yankees, in, the pl in their playoff runs the past few years, have never had starting pitching. We have a legit rotation. We have the best rotation in the American League, and the stats prove it. This team, this team's really good, guys. I mean, this is probably the best team we've seen since 2009. You know what I mean? This is a really, really good baseball team. And I'm, I'm just so happy, by the way this, you know, by the way this baseball team's played. I, I'm, I'm so happy with this team. And if you are too, drop a like on this video, drop, drop a comment. What are your thoughts on the game? What are your thoughts on Jamison Tyone's start? And what are your thoughts on the Yankees' um, chances going into the playoffs? Do you think this team is the best in the American League? Because I do. I mean, this team, I, I don't know, I don't know how, how anyone beats this team in the American League. I mean, the Rays are still, they're going to be the Rays, you know what I mean? They're still a very good team, and they, they play the Yankees well. You know, they're a team I don't want to see in the playoffs. But really, outside of the Rays, no one scares me in, this, in, the, in the American League. We just saw the White Sox. They were one of the teams I was worried about. We just swept them. We dominated the White Sox. You know what I mean? This team is a, is a juggernaut. And we don't even have Luis Severino, who is nasty. We don't even have Zach Britton, who is one of the best relievers in the league. Darren O'Day, very good pitcher. We don't have him either. And we don't even have Giancarlo Stanton. I'm not going to say Aaron Hicks because we all know he stinks. But Giancarlo Stanton, we don't even have him. He is an MVP candidate. This team is going to be scary going into the playoffs. This is... Probably the first year of their dynasty, I guess, since 2017 that I have been, like, ecstatic going into the playoffs. Because, I mean, I get we're still, you know, a ways away from that happening, from the playoffs. But you know what I mean. This is a playoff team. And this team, 
is destined to win a championship, and I'm pumped up about it. So that is going to do it for this video. Again, drop your thoughts on the video and drop your thoughts on the game down in the comments below. So and I'll, I'll talk to you guys Tuesday night as the Yankees host the Blue Jays for a three-game set. Corey Kluwer on the mound, game one. Domingo Herman, game two. And then Jordan Montgomery, game three. Three-game set against the Jays starting Tuesday night. And I am excited for that series. And uh, as for the division, before we end the video, um, sorry about that, I accidentally pulled up a video. Um, as for the division, Red Sox lost to the Phillies. We're now a half game behind them. The Rays won, but we're, we're still only a, uh, only a half game behind the Rays. We, we are three games ahead of the Blue Jays. Who, who, the Orioles, who cares? But still, I think we're going to win this division. I really do. I, I think this team is just, they have the best pitching staff. They have the best bullpen by far. And the lineup, man. If they put when they do the little things, this lineup can score a ton of runs. So that is going to do it for this video, and I'll talk to you guys Tuesday night. Peace, go Yankees.